What's going on everybody? Scouts 311 here. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 2. This is part 10 and uh, a few of the last parts I wasn't commentating on. I wanted to get them up. Um, I didn't think it was really necessary. It's pretty easy to just follow this game and um, not, you know, you don't have to explain too much. But here, this thing's kind of confusing. It's closing the gate. Apparently you can close the gate and re-enter that world and it resets itself um, to fix any past mistakes. Um, for artifacts and whatnot, um, I'm not gonna really mess with that at this moment. I'm assuming we we'll go back to new bottom, new bottom there. Sorry. Rejecting the easy path, humanity has. Um, but we're heading back into Brush of Ruins here, and I kind of wanted to explain something that I was doing, that I did on this video. So that's why I'm comment. I'm gonna comment on stuff that I feel the need. I may start just doing straight up commentary on all of them. I, I'm still not really sure. Sorry for being so. Uh, indecisive on this one but I just feel like some of it's kind of pointless because the game kind of plays itself you know I mean and I'm since I'm showing almost all my fights what am I supposed to you know I'm supposed, supposed to keep saying hey you know there's another fight so anyway you beat Atlas um, in the last video what I want to say is I played this video is 30 minutes long but it actually took me two hours almost to do this um, video because I grinded, I wanted to get a certain monster, and I grinded for almost an hour and a half, or something like that, to get the stupid ass monster, and it drove me in. Ugh. There's an epitaph. Well, anyway, we'll get back to that. Here lie the innocent victims of chance, cast out and cast down. May their souls find the path that leads them home. Cast out. These must be victims of the Purge. This is it! This is the place! <sighs> I thought I might be... But that's not my name. Then whose is it? Kobo. It's my friend's. She died here, running from the Purge. Uh, and me? I'm one of those who survived. Uh, five years ago, the entire town of Bodum, it was wiped out by the army. I was there, visiting my friend. Then everything went to hell. We ran and hid with the other fugitives. But just as the troops were pulling out, that's when the ceiling of our hiding place collapsed. Since then, I've had the same dream. I'm trapped under rubble. It's dark. I'm in pain and I can barely breathe. The next thing I know, I rise out of my body and I'm standing before this grave. And the name written on the stone, it's mine. After seeing that image so many times, I started to think that maybe I did die back then. And the life I'm living now is just an illusion. Alyssa, will you feel that way too? Well, uh, you seem real to me. Real enough, I guess. for the suffering we've caused? Can we ever give back what we've taken? <laughs> Alright, so after this, the couple of um, artifacts unlock themselves here, looks like. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay then. I think that wraps things up for Alyssa. Now for our little quest. Right. Let's find an artifact and open a gate. So, where should we look? Hmm. Well, now we've cleared up the paradox effect. It's possible those sneaky artifacts have come out of hiding. Let's try searching those areas we couldn't reach. <sighs> Time for some Mooko magic. Kupu! Huh? Mog, you can help? You're a lifesaver. Kupu Kupu! All right, so there's a side quest behind us. I think that we can start. I think I screw up here. You can only have two side quests, I believe, at a, uh, each area at a time. So um, let's see what I do here. Well, for one, here's an artifact over here. So remember, you know, just hit the right bumper. He does his little Google magic. And we get the Eclipse artifact. Nice, mod. And then, um, I think, you know, you know what, let's see what I do here, I can't remember. Oh, here's our uh, live trigger reward. We got all the live triggers and all of the, um, the funny answers, correct. So we got the Chocobo, um, one, which is the one that you get for getting all the stuff correct, so. Have you heard of the Silver Petal? It's an extremely rare plant that blooms with stunning, silvery flowers. My niece has been pestering me, saying she wanted to see one for real. So, when I heard they grow in this area, I decided to go look for it. But I'd forgotten one thing. The silver petal only blooms when the weather is cold and snow is falling. Seems I've completely missed the season. I don't suppose you could find it anywhere right now. You see, that niece I mentioned is such a selfish and demanding little princess. But the pouty thing she does is just so cute. Uh, what's her favorite uncle supposed to do? Alright, so we have a quest here to find the silver petal, but it's gotta be snow. So I'm assuming that we have to come back oh? here at a different time period. You'll go look for one for me? Is it snowing somewhere that I don't know about? Well, I won't hold out too much hope. Yeah, so uh, that's uh, seems to me that we have to do that there. Okay, so I'm gonna hop on this chocobo here, and we are going to use this guy to get a uh, couple items. It's in a little secret area, and you have to actually be riding him to do it. Oh my gosh! I can't believe you really did it. You subdued that big old hunk of a meat. This chick is so you annoying. You just saved us all from a devastating fate. Now that we're all safe, what say we find a way to spend some of that money? Square has seemed to like to put very annoying voices in these games recently. Um, so, yeah. If you ever need a hand with anything. So when you want to head back toward the beginning of the area, um, well, there's an artifact right there, but I just I come back and get it because uh, you can't get it. You can't use Mog's power um, while you're on the Chocobo. And if you get off them, you actually have to use another Geshel Green to get back on them. So I just come back and grab it. So head on down this way. We want to get to the stairs area where we come up. Um, and over here I believe yeah there's a little ramp that you can see here that can actually get you up and over this wall and you can't do it unless you're on the chocobo so you cannot do it until you defeat Atlas and uh, so just hop over there you go and there's two items down here there's one there you have to get off the chocobo because you have to use Mog's uh, magic so that's why yeah just grab this first So we got a Graviton Core Beta. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there's seven of them in the game, it looks like. So there's something like that. And that looks like snow to me, but it looks a little funky. Kind of wanted to show that too. 
I see my game time right now is three hours and like 30 minutes, I think it said, something like that. So we'll keep an eye on that. And we got some power droplets, which are uh, useful, I believe, for the, for uh, monster um, um, upgrading your monsters. Although Atlas has been deactivated, monsters still appear left and right. So now there is. We were barely able to hold. How did you stop it? What kind of special magic did you use? It wasn't a fight that could be won by brute force. We were able to weaken him first by resolving the paradox. So you managed to cut Atlas off from the source of his existence. It might be a good idea for us to team up with the scientists. Now, there's a girl here that gives you a quest, um, but I have trouble finding her. I know she's here somewhere. But since the giant's remains disappeared, we're left with nothing to analyze. I didn't mean to get in the way of your work. Don't worry. I think you two did the right thing. It was too advanced for us to control anyway. It's a very dangerous technology. Alright, so there's an item over here that Mog has to get. You can see it's... Um, no, uh, whatever. He has to use this thing on it. So a lever scope, which helps us... Now uh, everybody comes over running over here, and I was like, what the hell? But I think because you use that magic, they all like get freaked out. So that's where. All right, so, and I see there's an item right there, and I'm not sure how to get that guy either. Uh, you can't jump up here. And I'm thinking maybe if I have on the chocobo, maybe I could... I, th I think there's marks in the game that you can yeah. use, like a little yellow marks or something, where a chocobo could do a special little jump move. I'm, I didn't try it though, I didn't actually think about it until after I was done doing this. And I'm not even sure if that's how you get it, to be honest. Even though we barely survived that situation. So there's definitely somebody in the area that I believe in this area right here. I tried to analyze Adam, but all I could do was one fact. That you can get a side quest from. And I had trouble finding her, and maybe she's not in this area, but somewhere else in here. I don't know. It sounds like a movie plot, doesn't it? Its true physical form probably exists fully in a different era. I hear you were able to deactivate that. You're stronger than any of the troops out there. I just. I've always been protected by others. That's good to hear. Resolve can sometimes be a powerful weapon. Uh, I wanna rest up. Personally, I for all we know, that could lead to the foul sea ending up in charge again. I know it's a woman, and anyway, I can't find her. But this guy gives me a quest. Uh, this is so messed up. Huh? What's with the size? Oh, I'm having some trouble with ID overlaps. You know how our communicators serve as personal IDs? Well, it seems like there's another guy out there using the same identification signature as me. When I checked my activity log on the database, it was obvious. It has me existing in two places at the same time. Someone else's ID is overlapping with mine. I want to know how this could have happened. So we have another side quest here. Now because we can only have two in a world, I think I unlock, I think I block my ability to do the one I wanted to actually do, so. We have to come back here and do it. Nah, it's probably just a tech screw up. Somewhere out there, there's another communicator with the same ID signature. And this door here we cannot unlock, I don't think, until we come back later. Um, it's something that we're going to do pretty soon, because there's a good weapon in there for Sarah, I believe. And uh, we are going to uh, come back and grab that. So the chuggable runs around with you, but you can't. I mean, you still have to you spend a Geshel Green to jump back on him. So this item is actually the item we give to the girl. Uh, for the side quest that I can't find, but I know that this is the item to do it. 
she asks you to find her notes. But I can't find the girl, so I don't know. Uh, we got the notes. So eventually I'm going to find her. I'm assuming. But I walk all over the place and I still can't find her, so... I mean, I probably just missed her somewhere. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was gonna be this girl, but it's not her. Does that Moogle fight with you in battle? I'll bet he's a brave little fella. Isn't it wonderful he risks his life to protect his owner? She's kind of freaky. It is wonderful, and he never even complains. Well, almost never. Yeah, although he does get overexcited sometimes. The Academy was created. Its mandate was clear. To replace the foul sea with science and modern technology. So, anyway, yeah. Just trying to find the girl, trying to find the girl. Let me cut this out. Unless it's not, I think it might not be that much longer. Um, what am I looking for? The ability to time travel. Analyzing Atlas might help us to obtain technology that we can use to help society. Going on another journey already? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone how I feel. Thanks, buddy. My nerves are making my stomach hurt. <laughs> I need more monsters. One, two, one. The Academy's the policy is strongly supported by the land found in the wild have a spicy taste. It's the poison that gives them the kick. So anyway, we're just kind of stuck. Here right now, I am, and it's, it's driving me crazy. So, because I know I've done actually, I played a bit of this game before we start recording it, and I know I did this quest before. But like I said, I think because we have two active, maybe it's screwing me up. But I can't actually um, say that for sure because I'm not really positive. But anyway. Alright, so what I wanted to do next was head over and grind. I wanted to get a specific monster called the Pulsework Soldier. And the best place to find him is in one of the in the tunnels. That's pretty much where he always um, spawns. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. And, uh, so anyway, so I'm gonna head, I head over to those tunnels and I spend freaking forever trying to get this thing. pronounce it monster in that fight actually which is the wolf guy um so we could use the gates if we want but i want to i really want to get that monster so ahead of the tunnels and the northwest tunnels i think are the best spots to get them supposedly um i'm not it, it could be i'm sure any tunnel might work so the i'm gonna head over to the northwest tunnels and uh, I get into a badass fight against some badass dude here in a second, which uh, is freaking hard. <laughs> Did it! 
So here's the uh, other artifact that we passed up earlier. And we keep getting snuck on by these guys. I didn't have a chance to even hit that guy. Which sucks because it really messes up our chance to get 5 stars at times because you, know, you get that bonus to your um, score when you get a preemptive strike. And I don't I end up showing a different way, a quicker, a better way to fight um, using a refresh. Um, to refresh your um, ATB bar there, um, but I'm not sure if I might have cut it out. I'll, I'll, if it's not in this actual video, because I kind of started doing it as I was grinding, and I'm not going to show me grinding for an hour. So I'm at 3:48 right now. Look at, at the time there. So I wanna, I'm actually curious how long it took me to do this. 3:48. Now here's the one fight with this badass dude that beat the fucking piss out of me. So he's a new enemy there. I'm not even sure where he came from. But he starts beating the piss out of me. You see, he knocked Sarah down on over half her health in one hit. So right there, I was in trouble. And then he kills her. <laughs> that quickly. So, or he's not, she's not dead yet, but she'll be dead in a second. Because that potion didn't even grab her. So I try to get the medic out, but that didn't work. So I Phoenix Downer, and then I bring out cons um, Consolation, Consolidation, which is two Sentinels and a Medic. So that should I take less damage because of the Sentinels, and then I got my Medic uh, Monster to help heal me up. Then we go Delta Attack. Delta Attack has a Sentinel in the party at the whole times, and then a Com and a Ravenger to uh, help build the chain gauge up. But it's still, still taking a lot of damage. The Sentinel's still taking a lot of damage from this guy. So, yeah, I'll switch back over to try to heal up again. It's very, this is a very defensive paradigm. Two Sentinels and a Medic. There's really no way to really attack. So Delta Attack's a good one to use for something like this. And now I'm going to try to bring his gauge up with Tri Disaster and just stagger him because that's the best way to usually do these guys. So I got him. And I'm going to go to Cerberus all commandos and try to take him out quickly before I die again. And I end up getting him. But it was a bitch, man. And even with all that craziness, it's still a five star fight. So, uh, he's hard. He's hard. So we're at about 3 hours 50 minutes right now, and I'm going to cut, I think, right about here. Because this is when I start grinding for uh, my guy. I'm going to upgrade these guys first after that fight. I think I got enough for one upgrade. Oh no, I got a whole bunch. Oh shit, I forgot I was this far up. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't actually start doing this. Okay, so this is what we're doing here. So we got Sarah here. I unlocked the saboteur role for her, which is basically the debuffer role on enemies. You can um, just you, you put a lot of status ailments on enemies with the saboteur role. Oh, I guess I don't do it yet. My bad, sorry. I probably didn't want to get into it yet because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. All right, so there's the good, there's the big cut. Um, remember, we're at three hours and fifty minutes when I started this. And I've been fighting for a long ass time. Um, I'm not really sure. I just want this is the guy that I've been wanting to get. I've been running back and forth in these tunnels this whole time, so you haven't missed anything story related. <laughs> so this is the Pulsar Soldier. This is a guy you can get. He's a Sentinel, so he's kind of your a good defensive state guy to have for you. Um, you can use him as your Sentinel, and then you can still have Noel and Sarah fight. You know, attack. So he's a good guy to have. Plus, he's easy to level up. So I get him here and actually get his crystal. 
which is what I've been wanting to do forever. So finally I get it. Now you see we're at 350. So let's see how long that took me. Now we're at 453. So it took me an hour to get that guy. And I had a fought and I probably fought 20 of them. So it took me an hour to get this guy. So I'm, I, I cut an hour out of the game. But what I'm going to do here is actually, um, you see he has damage and magic resistance. Um, and he, uh, he only has one level of the Crystarium. I'm going to actually, this is the first time I level a monster. So it's pretty much the same way. Um, I have 99 of these potent bolts to level up monsters with. Those are the ones that level up mechanical monsters, which he is. I got all those grinding for that hour. I got, I maxed out on them. So you basically level him up the same way you would level up uh, Sarah and Noel. Um, you can get other type of items, I believe, that are more um, based on like certain abilities or something like that, like magic or something. If you to use power or something like that, I don't know. But this is the only ones I had, so I'm just going to use these to level him up. He can get up to level 20, and then he's done. That's his max level. But he's still a tough. He's still a good guy to use. Now you see, he starts taking two. For it says two next level. Um, once you get so far in, it starts taking two items to level him up. One level. So he's at level 15 after this one, and he's learning. He he already learned Steel Guard, Element Guard, Meta Guard. You get another hit point um, boost there. And he's gonna learn Fringe Award here. And we'll get another level, and then 25% more hit points. So he's reached his full potential, so he's done. But he's going to be a nice guy to have. Um, like I said, he's our, our defensive guy. I really haven't leveled monsters up too much yet. Um, I've been kind of saving those until I figure out how it works. So here's all the stuff that he got. His head twister is his his special move that you get uh, as you, you do, that he has a bar that fills up during fights and then you can use that as an attack. Uh, so he's got provoke, steel guard, meta guard, element guard, and uh, he reduces damage to nearby allies. So that's when he's the source of an of a area attack, I believe. So that's a good one to get to for him. So now I'm going to level up finally. I started doing a little bit of it. You see my saboteur is up to six now here. I'm going to kind of go the same rate. Now, saboteurs and synergists <coughs> excuse me, are different, and they're very confusing on here. Remember I said, command. if you use a commando on a large node, you get plus two strength. If you use a ravenger on a large node, you get plus two magic. Now, if you use a saboteur on a large node, it depends if it's an even or odd level. It's confusing. If it's an odd level coming next, which it is here. I'm going to go to level 7. You'll see I'll get 2 magic once I eventually do this. At the end there, 2 magic. Now if that was an even level, he would have got 2, um, I think it was 2 health. Either 2 health or 2 strength. I think it's health. I could be wrong though. It's 2 of uh, something besides magic on the uh, even levels. and the odd levels, it's magic. So you have to really plan out your saboteur and synergist levels. It's very odd the way they do that. It makes it difficult for me. I'm too not smart enough to, to figure it out. So anyway, that's how that works. Now if you if you level up Sentinel, you always on the large nodes, you always get two health. If you level up medic on the large nodes, or six health, I'm sorry. If you level up medic, you get six health. Um Yeah. So anyway, that's how it goes. So I just kind of keep going with the same basic path here. I'm leveling up my commando. I'm kind of on the smaller nodes, and I'm leveling up my ravager on the large nodes to try to boost her magic. I think I kind of screw up there though. I think I could have done it a little better and got one extra ravager level. And then I'm going to take the medic roll for her, so she has her medic done. And she's actually all spent up. So now I'm going to do the same thing with uh, with our boy here. And he has the same problem with the synergist roll. On the odd levels, 
he boosts um, magic, I believe. Yeah, and on the even levels, he boosts health. So the health boosts, to me, seem kind of pointless. Um, they're going to get health anyway as the game goes on, plus you can equip health items. So, so it'd be level 9 here on his Synergist. So you see, I, I take forever to do this because I'm trying to figure out how to do it, to be honest. And he gets 2 magic there. So now I can use Synergist again here because it doesn't matter, it's a small node. And I'll just level up to level 10. And then... Um, what am I going to do? Use Ravager here, I believe. Because for this is uh, Noel. I want to use Commando on the large nodes. He'll get the health bonus. And my brain was working overtime on this one. The center just here, a level 11. So it's to be an odd level. So we'll get magic bonus. Plus 2 magic. Right there. And then I think I'm just going to go Ravager Commando the rest of the way. So as I was saying before, for a saboteur, on an even level you get plus two strength, at an odd level plus two magic. On a synergist, on an even level, you get plus six health, and on an odd level plus two magic. So basically, for both of those, I would most likely, well, depends if you're using saboteur with Noel. If you want strength, it does, you know, go even. If you want magic, go odd. Now the synergist, I would promise I'll always go, just use it as a magic thing and always go odd level. That's just how I was going to do it, because I don't think health is, like I said before, is worth it. It may be, just the way I'm doing it. Why not put a, a little chocobo on him, because it took me an hour to get this guy. So I'm uh, going to... Yeah, see, those, these are the items you get for those live events. You can dress your guys up, it's kind of kind of stupid to be honest with you but whatever now he has a chocobo chick on his shoulder and then I do a quick job here now that we got him as our sentinel I kind of mess around a little bit I don't know if this is actually how I'm gonna keep it now I got two restless assaults in a row um, I wanted to show how you can make use of that to quickly um, build your ATB bar up but I don't do it in this video Tortoise, that's the ultimate defense over there. Three Sentinels. We don't need to go that hardcore. So we do a Delta attack uh, using the Pulse Knight now as our Sentinel. So Noel and um, Sarah can both actually attack. And then we said Solidarity. That's not a bad one um, when you need uh, health. Uh, quick heal type of move All right, so anyway, that's the end of this video. It's kind of confusing. I'm still confused and it's the second time I've watched it The level one gets a little goofy on me, but I'm kind of stupid. So that's probably why So anyway, well, thanks for watching